Hey guys, welcome back to week 11 of Skulls and Shackles. I am of course GM Arthur Perkins, and uh, I am joined tonight by everyone, including our new member, Dominic Prevet, who is playing Aces. Let's go around and uh, have everyone do a quick reintroduction of their character, just to uh, catch up, and then we'll see what's going to happen tonight. I assume someone uh, took notes last time and can explain to the audience the very dire situation you guys are in. Anybody? Yeah, my dad's a zombie. <laughs> my dad, the famous freebooting pirate of formerly the Andoran Navy, Captain Atticus Styles, is trying to kill us for whatever reason. That's what he wants. Does a zombie does a zombie dad uh, qualify for a deadbeat dad? No. But I'm bumped. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Get out. <laughs> Sorry, he can't stop. I don't think he won't stop. Make it stop. <laughs> the puns will never end. We'll go clockwise, starting with Adam. Adam, how are you this week? Good, good. Still uh, suffering nightmares from my carrying crown session, but uh, you know I'll just try to get used to those. Um, no, today uh, this week was good. I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, dangerous uh, part, three part. Uh, combat with uh, the dread captain Atticus Styles. So Books is uh, swimming swimming towards the shore not swimming, boating uh, towards the shore, I believe. He will um, arrive after one round. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be tense. Looking forward to it. Alright. So, uh, can you give us a quick reintroduction of Books? Just a, oh, sure. A fast one. Yeah, uh, Books is a uh, arcane bomber uh, monk. Um, he is a studying um, blood magic to become a blood mage. Nothing terrifying he's, about that at all. He's also the uncle of Kid Tomes. Lorraine, how are you this week? Doing great. We woke up this morning to no water, no power, and no internet. We've got two of the three back. So I'm guessing you still don't have water. Yep. Okay. Just, you know, by process of elimination. So, so can you fill us in with <laughs> Commodore Ferris then? Uh, Commodore Ferris is continuing her ongoing life goal of trying to keep her crew members from either dying or deserting. And offering up a prayer to her gods that this time they will at least stay within 30 feet of her before they go charging into combat and swarmed. Okay. And uh, can you provide a quick background on Commodore Ferris? Commodore uh, Ferris is the call of the waves from a young age. Um, she is surprisingly charismatic despite considering that most people should probably be drowned at sea and we should instead ally with the were sharks. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's one way to look at things. Alright, Craig. How are you this week? Uh, I'm doing well. We're uh, kind of scrambling around the house. We're hosting all the family in the area for Thanksgiving and as the rest of you guys know, we just moved into our house, so uh, <laughs> you can probably tell behind me, I actually have some shelves. I got my CDs and games and stuff started to get put away, so some of the boxes are out of the way, but we're uh, doing a lot of hiding, stacking, and moving right now, just trying to get things in good enough shape for some folks to sit down and eat. Having a non-traditional Texas Thanksgiving, we're going to have brisket, sausage, and ribs that sounds amazing. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, my brother-in-law is uh, is a big barbecue geek. and He's bringing uh, some sausage somebody made for him, so I'm really looking forward to it. You should bacon wrap those ribs and then just uh, put them in the <laughs> and put in some pancakes. That's my new traditional yep. Thanksgiving now. Turducken. 
Well, I'm I'm actually originally from Louisiana. I was born in Baton Rouge, so you know that kind of stuff is. Uh, I was raised eating, so good stuff. And so, uh, uh, scourge. Uh, Master Scourge, the formerly, uh, for, or formerly known as Sifrig, is uh, has been doing some uh, soul searching. He's been very, very frustrated with his uh, personal performance. He takes uh, uh, he takes his role in this uh, in this group very seriously, and he's been failing in almost all of his duties. So he's. Uh, you're going to see a lot more shield in his uh, future than you've seen in his past. So he is a, uh, a dwarf salt beard uh, axe and board tank who's currently minus an axe. So we're working on that. So you're more like a mason boarder? Right now he's going to be a mason board barbarian tank, whatever that means. Sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah. That's it. All right, Dan, how are you this week? I'm doing all right. Got a splint for my wrist, fell on it. Just a sprain, but yeah. Was it HVZ related? Uh, It happened during HVZ, but it was not related to HVZ. I just took a turn too tight. There was nobody else around, and I just fell. Whatever. Uh... (laughs) Kid Tomes is a f- half elf water child investigator, but since there aren't very many crimes to be solved at sea, he turns to ser- seeking out uh, underwater ruins. But that kind of. a little bit of a wrench got thrown in that plan once he got press ganged onto the Wormwood. But now he's finally getting the hang of this swashbuckling business and. Maybe a little too soon does he face his end. That's true. It could happen. All right, Dom. It's time for you to introduce yourself and your character. Tell us about Aces. Okay. Aces is a uh, half orc ranger druid, one level ranger, four level druid. He was born in a sub village in the Mwangi Spans. His first memory was his village burned to the ground by Chalaxian uh, sailors and slavers. They were there to tame the land and destroy any resistance. His father, a half orc witch doctor, died protecting the village, leaving his wife a half elf summoner. I Kevin haven't came up with the story for the sister yet, but eventually I'll put that together. Um, she had a career of entertainment, thievery, and worship Callista, saying that she'll never love a man as much as the husband. Uh, spent about 10 years growing up in the chapels of Port Poirot, and uh, he learned at a very young age, either in the jungle or the metropolis, the strong will survive, but the clever will make money. He gave, he took in the act of burglary. Um, unfortunately, a uh, heist on a traction warship went south, and he took the fall for his mother and sister as they escaped. He spent about 15 years in prison, Escaped by using a chicken bone wing to pick the lot and uh, bribing the guard to look the other way. He kept his freedom by staying to the Wamongi jungles because, you know, Chalaxians don't want to go out there because it's so uncivilized. Um, got a tribal tattoo on his lower back of uh, Callista with the three blades. And his favorite catchphrase is, I love stealing, I love taking things. All right. Excellent. So, let's get started. Aces, of course, is found tied naked and gagged, bound to the uh, front mast uh, by some cordage. The uh, Night Eagle has pulled up and begun grappling operations with the Laughing Dolphin. And the crew of the Laughing Dolphin has just managed to awake its officers in the watch get everyone on deck to defend just in time and so uh, the crew here you officers you boarding party can pick anywhere within the purple square along the uh, the starboard side to enter uncle books is rowing from shore and will arrive in one round
can't actually land in the purple square. Yeah, I know, but it's the <laughs> first two areas, so as long as you okay. understand that you're somewhere in here. Can you tell us more about glowing circles? I can if you make a knowledge arcana check. Let me just get make, right on that. I can make that knowledge <coughs> arcana check, probably, maybe, if I don't flood it. Okay. 32. So, <laughs> even a quick observation, you can tell that these are some sort of summoning runes that have been placed on the deck and then embedded with devil salt and uh, are now anchored on the ship and can be used to call forth souls. And as you come over the railing of the ship, you notice that instead of there being floorboards, the floors are made entirely of human skulls that have been sanded down and flattened. Well, darn. There's okay. been several hundred. Wow. That is gruesome. Skulls aren't that thick. <laughs> uh, that's why there's several hundred of them. To Mr. Scourge. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have control of my token yet. That's true, you don't. Okay, does that check tell us anything about how we can attempt to disable said circles? Or use them in our own favor. No, disable. Definitely oh, disable. no, I'm sorry. It's fine. Never mind. So I was looking at my personal icon, not at Scourge's icon. It's fine okay. the way it is. Brain cramp. To disable these circles, you merely have to stand in them to prevent uh, anything from coming through them. So if everything's ready... You see uh, 16 zombies on deck, all of whom have rusted cutlasses and raised their blades toward you. Your crew, of course, comes over and begins engaging these zombies, but five of them peel away and begin to attack the party directly. Oof. The Thai guy go first. Let the guy who's tied up go first. Was there any time to drink anything sure, before we went over? You guys probably had a round or two. <coughs> Say two All rounds. Right. Two rounds? Okay. I still had a shield extract la left over from yesterday, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right, Maelstrom, you are tied to the deck. What am I tied with? Cordage. What is that made out of? I'm not even sure. Super thick rope. Hmm. How many? I don't even know how many hit points that is. A lot. Hmm. I will take the form of a. Small creature. So you're trying to wild shape? Yeah, standard okay. action. As you've attempted to do over the past few days, it simply fails. Darn it. And wow. when you try to wild shape, all the summoning circles begin glowing even brighter. All the runes start lighting up. Well, I start singing. Uh, I'm not wearing any. Oh, darn it. <laughs> you just can't let me have the fun. <laughs> okay, that's it for me. Okay. Uncle Books, your boat is on its way. You'll arrive next round. Anything you'd like to do while you're in the boat? Yeah, I will uh, start Kieran style and also uh, cast Main Germer myself. Okay. All right, Master Scourge. I think you guys probably know the routine by now. Rage charge power tech. Okay. Uh oh. Can I Yes. So you're just gonna move over there? Uh no, I'm charging him. Well, who are you charging? Uh Scourge. But he's on my level, zombie? right? Yes. I mean, uh, um, uh, oh, wrong guy. Oh, never mind. Hang on. <laughs> I thought you were That's us. <laughs> yeah. I 
can't get to Styles. Yeah, I'm too close to charge the zombie. Yes, I can. Char I'll charge the zombie then. Okay. That one. All right. Sorry. So attacking that zombie with a. Twenty-six, twelve points. Twenty-six will hit. And uh, you can sneak attack zombies, right? Yep. In this, okay. So three more. Take fifteen. And uh, Morningstar is bludgeoning, right? Uh, it is bludgeoning and piercing. I think I'll look. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, you collide with the zombies, flash and a wet thump, and it's clear that your full damage isn't going through. Yep. Yeah, bludgeoning and piercing both. Okay, so Captain Atticus Style stands at the wheel and then uh, points at uh, his crew and says, Master, you didn't hold it in their souls. And all of his uh, zombie crewmen immediately move to engage the closest target. They kind of bring out these rusted cutlasses that have, like, kelp dripping off of them. <coughs> Master Scourge, what's your AC currently? You are looking for 17. Okay. You're going to take one hit. All right. For seven. Kid Tomes, what's your AC? You're looking to beat a 24. Okay. And Captain Ferris? 14 flat-footed. All right, that's going to confirm for eight points of damage. And then he's going to say, Ah! And point at Kid Tomes and, and be like, I'll deal with you soon once I've gotten rid of your uncle. I have a blood oath against him. Damn it, uncle, you got to ruin everything. I shout out, he's not here. He's on shore. Go send your zombies over there. They don't need to breathe, right? Captain Ferris, what would you like to do? Well, yawn shouting advice at uh, Captain Styles. <laughs> I will attempt to knowledge check him. <laughs> okay. Um, you can ask one question about him. Huh. Um... DR? Uh, I'll say it said defensive abilities. You know okay. that he cannot be killed as long as the ship is intact, and the ship cannot be destroyed as long as he's intact. Paradox. Brilliant. Also, he's undead, so he's immune to all the things undead are. <sighs> okay, so... Cut off his head. When you say can't be killed, does that imply to being dismembered, having each body part placed in a different chest and then put on a different island? If he is slain, he will reform on his ship after a certain amount of time. So kill him, then burn the ship. Hmm. Yeah, so you would have to destroy the ship within a reasonable amount of time after... Whatever that means. Um. All right. Can I do a perception check or anything to see if there's anything different about the two big glowing circles as opposed to the four smaller circles? Do you have knowledge planes? I do. I do. Good. Okay, you you know that the two larger circles are used for something different than summoning. Hmm. All right. Well, I can't do my favorite activity. So mm -hmm. I will move. And let's see if I can avoid the AOL. Okay. Nothing. 
No, wait. I'm looking at the wrong stat block. Yes. You could five foot step. Doesn't really help me get at styles if I'm moving five feet at a time. Ah. Uh. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, stairs are difficult terrain or regular? Difficult terrain. Okay. Uh, that's it for me. Okay. So just one move action, that's it? I double moved. Oh, okay. All right, kid tomes. I'm going to five foot step here. Uh, I'm going to attempt that knowledge, knowledge planes check. Okay. And free inspiration, 17. Okay, so the one that you can see directly in front of you mm -hmm. uh, very clearly is an anchoring circle. Whenever things get summoned, instead of appearing in their individual circles, they'll appear in a big circle in the middle. Hmm. That is an interesting tidbit of information. Have we encountered zombies before in this campaign? I don't think so. Would no, I know to draw a, Would I know to draw a dagger instead of a instead of a short sword? Yeah, probably. Uh, can I just make the dungeoneering check to be nice? Well, it's a religion check. The religion check to be nice? Yeah, sure. I know about zombies. And I know that they don't like slashing weapons, so I'm going to study the one right in front of me okay. for that plus two to attack and damage. And slash him with the dagger. Okay, so let's see here. 22 will hit for three points of damage. Yep. The zombie doesn't even stop to look down. It's just continues slashing at you. Okay, Aces. Why is your name Maelstrom Aces? Because you need a pirate name? Ah, uh, of course. Hmm. I'm going to try to escape virus out of this. Why not? Okay. In vain. You don't think you'd ever be able to escape from these rooms. In fact, you've been trying for days. <laughs> hey, I see other people. There's hope. Okay, Uncle Books, you can arrive on any of the port side areas. As a move action, and then you'll still have a standard. Uh, to be fair, I'm going to uh, make a knowledge uh, check uh, on the runes. <clears throat> on um, the big ones. Okay, again, you can only see the one that's at the bottom, because the other one... It's an the anchoring room. Stairs. Hello, Uncle. Did you enjoy your nap on the beach? That's an anchoring room. Can we destroy it or something? And see. then I say, who's that fellow there? And I point to the tied-up uh, half-orc. Best naked. And gag. What? Oh. We, we don't know who he is yet. He appears to be the only living person on the ship besides your group. But seems he looks alive. Not. Maybe take a chance on him? So, books, you know that the only way to eliminate the rune in the center is to have uh, the four outer runes all destroyed at the same moment. Oh, brilliant. Wow. Okay. okay. Do we all right, well... We just heard standing in them would prevent things from appearing. So yeah, I mentioned... I relay that information. We need to hit the Mike. ruins at the same... the smaller ruins at the same time. And I Mike. will uh, cast Grease um, right here. Okay. Right where their summonings will appear. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, 16 reflex. Yeah. Okay, both of these zombies fall. And I will, uh, cure and style that one. Okay. 
that will succeed. Master Scourge. Uh, Master Scourge will drop the Morning Star where he stands, pull out the whip as a the Scorpion Whip as a move action, and slash the rope, slash the zombie, slash the rope, slash the zombie. Um, his raging though. I'm just saying, naked half-orc. Slash the rope. <laughs> Did I say slash the rope? Alright, make an attack against the rope. Okay, you're moving next to the rope? Uh, I will five foot. Uh, no, scorpion whip. Uh, I'm gonna have cover if I don't. Yeah, I'll move over. I'll five foot to All there. Right, you're putting your axe into the, the cordage? And, uh, what? No, I don't have an axe anymore. Scorpion whip. It's okay. my only slashing weapon, so 